Hello, today we're playing the Modern Showcase with Crabvine. Yes, that's right. I'm playing a deck that's not that good right now, but I like Crabvine a lot, and I felt like playing it, and this, it's basically free, because I don't have to pay actual tickets to play this, I have to pay with qualifier points. And I'm really tired, because I had to wake up early to play in this, so... I don't know, maybe this video and the next one, I'll be like a little out of it, but... The rest I'll probably be fine. Let's see if I can show you guys the list though. I don't know. Oh no, okay. Well there we go. Collection. Modern. Crab vine. So Oh Jesus Christ, what the fuck is this hand? Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, oh wait, no, wait. Yeah, this is fine. All right, check it, check it. Bam, bam. Down to four. All right, what do we got? <sighs> could be storm. Could be blue red control slash moon. Unfortunately, I chose not to play Basic Island in this list. Uh, what do we got? Oh boy, okay. Carrion Feeder, you're up. So literally, this list is a little funny because I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna run one of each, like, one drop, and then a once upon a time. So, oh Jesus Christ. This was a mistake. Oh no, he's got the main leak. No, he wouldn't have grabbed him. Okay, he's got the remand. That's fine. <clears throat> Is this fucking storm? The fuck? Why would he fetch the mountain? It feels like he's not running Bloodman if he grabs the mountain. But yeah, so I'm running one Carrion Feeder, one Crypt Breaker, one Grimag Angler, one Once Upon a Time. Because I was like, fuck it, I don't want to think about like what's best and what's not best. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's fucking Jeskai. Good stuff. Okay, okay. Something, anything. Oh, man, alright, well. Alright. We're gonna save targets. All right, hit one, nothing. Hit two. A creeping chill. Come on, anything, anything at all. Oof. Yikes. <clears throat> right, nothing it is. We hit a prized amalgam and a chill. Yeah, if we'd hit a grave crawler, it would have been nice. Very nice. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, look at that. Ooh, Secret Keeper? That's tough. I have 41 cards, four Narc Amoebas, four Grave Crawlers, or I can Venge Vine here. That's really tough, actually. Jesus. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I guess we have this. We have seven cards to mill here. 
So I'm gonna and I can save two life with this overgrown tomb, not coming in untapped. So we'll do it like this. Oh jeez, come on, give me something, anything. Come on now, come on. A grave crawler, not even a grave crawler. Oh, not even a grave crawler. I don't even get to bring back the vent vine I milled. But at least I hit a vent vine, right? Jeez. Jeez Louise. Oh man. I really wanted to cast the Seeker Keeper this turn. But okay. Two amalgams and that's it. Alright, that's not so bad. Our opponent's probably playing a Planeswalker soon. Like, they're stabilizing fast. We, oh my god, he had the path the whole time. Oh my god, and he pathed me on end step? What? What's wrong with you? What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Opponent. What are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> you fool. Oh man, this is good. This is good. This guy's path the whole time. Wait. Oh, so he's fucking uh, copycat combo. Okay. Come on, my boy's about to bounce a fucking prize to Malcolm. <clears throat> Got him. Okay, so now I get to cast two spells in the turn, bring back my single Vengevine. Am I just taking it? I feel like I have to take it. Why is he attacking with everything? What are you doing? Are you trying to die? Oh, man, he's trying to die. One guy held back. Come on now, bud. You don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Ooh, they got to land. All right, what do we got? I don't know why I lost my save targets. I probably pressed no more yield or something. Um, no, what the fuck? No grave crawlers. Uh, the odds were not in my favor today. What do we got? Let's think about this. Yeah, it's just gonna be a Vengevine and a Merfolk Seeker Keeper. Other way, doesn't that counterspell mana up? Something really funny is that if I cast this Vengevine and he counters it, I can cast this Sea Keeper and get it back anyways. And I've done that before and it's hilarious when it happens. Alright, let's go. So we're going to send one at Teferi and the rest at face. <clears throat> and if our boy has a bolt, then yes, he can waste the bolt if he'd like to. Bam, bam, I take three down to four, yeah. This is fine. Oh, he has a bolt? Okay. Oh, man, he shouldn't have... Well, I guess it's fine. It's just now I'm definitely chumping, like, with my boys. Hedron Crab has done served its purpose. I don't know why he wasn't getting rid of Hedron Crab way earlier, but... I'm pretty sure our opponent threw, and this is the modern showcase, and they're just throwing. Not pathing, yep. <gasps> Excuse me, not pathing the crab. Yeah, but seriously, like, where the fuck are my grave crawlers? 22 cards, 4 grave crawlers, 1 amalgam, 2 venge vines, 3 creeping chills. Right? Yeah, look at that. There's the Sahili. <clears throat> They're gonna copy. Oh my god, they copy Season Pirate. You! That's not insane. They got rid of these two. Oh shit, that's actually. If they grabbed a bolt. Yeah, if they grabbed a bolt, I'm kind of in trouble. If they hit a bolt, then I lose, right? Yeah, you better attack with everything else. Like, I don't know. what You should be attacking with all these elementals. Well, maybe not. Maybe not.
It's lit though. One, two, three, four, down to four. Three, yeah, down to three. Oh, am I down to three if I do this? One, two, three, four, down to three. Yeah, so I guess I'll just save the crab because going down to two. What's the difference between two and three? Oh, man. It's not going to have shock. It's going to be bolt or bust. One, two, three, four, five. Oh man, that's two or three. Nothing that matters besides two turns of Sahili, but I that's I guess if he has a Sahili on top, like if he's gonna play it, he'll next turn plus this and then plus again. He's got three chumpers for Vengevine, Vengevine, Amalgam, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna play it safe and play around Sahili in hand, Sahili on board. And if I die to bolt, I'm dead to bolt anyways, so. And it's a lightning helix. Why wouldn't you attack with the elemental? What the fuck are you doing? Alright, it's a combo deck, so Thoughts is just coming in. Ash Trophy coming in, and Force Negation coming in. And probably pushes. Alright, so what they're going to be bringing in is likely... Rest in Pieces. So, Grimag, your Audi, Carrion Feeder, they're interacting too much for you to be good. So, your Audi, always liken Crypt Breaker over here. One Grave Crawler can go. Creeping Chills, pretty bad. Although, if I'd hit like a single one, I would have, would have been better off. <laughs> Fuck. Um. Just guy. I don't like push here actually. <clears throat> so force negation for Sahili and Rip. Ash trophy for Sahili, Rip, and Copy Dude. Filled our guardian. Ah, uh, Thoughties, because it's a combo deck and I can get rid of their shit. Yeah, I like this. Let's fucking go. Poop. Ooh, boy. Hmm. Poop. Less poop. Our boy Mulligan to five as well. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Man. I don't know if I should have been playing crap by guys. If I win this, then like, never mind. I definitely should have been playing grab line. <laughs> All right, what do we got? Take a look. Take a look. See. All right, that's an excellent start. Actually, just got a hit. Oh no, that's an excellent. I just get a fucking Vengevine turn too. Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> yes. Come on now, give me some good. Gravecrawler would be nice. Oh baby, double fucking Vengevine. Oh baby. I'm so good at this game. It's just a hundred percent skill. Like our opponent, all they had to do was not lose. And they were like, nah, I will lose. Oh, and they're look at that, they're nothing. It's so cute. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's good. Alright, it's a good start. And they're gonna rip. Watch, they're gonna rip right now. It's gonna... Oh, man. Oh, and they're grabbing the mountain. Look at them fetching their basics. Oh, and they ripped! Ah, <sighs> what a good day. Ooh, and I got a fucking force negation. Yeah, I'm just gonna hold up force negation, actually. I'm not gonna fetch to play around them like pathing. We'll take a peek before we attack. And if they lightning helix here, bam, you're fucked. Look at that. Playing around everything I can. Booyah. Ooh, and they have six. Ooh, there's your path. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, guys, everything bad I said about this deck, I take back. 
Unless I lose this one, in which case this deck is fucking trash. Now, we're up against a rib. Force negations are good. Ash trophies are good. Stunt seasons are good. Yeah, I just, I'll just run it back, honestly. Yeah, let's fucking go. Alright, this hand is a good mold of 5 and a terrible mold of 7, but, and it doesn't have any answers, and you know he's keeping a rip hand, so I'm gonna mulligan. Alright, this hand has answers and has mill, so. Do I keep this prize amalgam with which to force negation, though? Yo, I'm actually just going to get rid of this Ash Trophy and keep this Prize Amalgam for Force Negation. <coughs> My boy, Serum Visioning for the win. We're going to Secret Keeper ourselves, see what happens after that. Alright, let's go, let's go. Don't top deck Avengevine. Do not be Avengevine. Do not be Avengevine. Anything but Avengevine. Anything but Avengevine. It's a dark me, but eh, close enough. I, I am unhappy about this top deck. Okay, we hit a dark me, but... <laughs> alright, alright. Nothing. Hell yeah. Not gonna lie, that's actually pretty lit. Um... Vengevine. Oh my god, yes. How am I so good at this game, guys? It's okay, just one Vengevine, he'll kill it. But, I mean, or they'll kill it. They want to, I don't know what their gender is. Really? Yeah, I can't. Uh, that's so weird, but that's definitely going on the bottom. Uh, I mean, yeah, you brought an Aether Gust for my bench line. Lit. Damn. Oh, shit. Yo, do I let this happen? Absolutely not. Best draw is a glimpse the unthinkable here. Uh oh, for them. Yep. I shuffled so I can get that bench vine uh, closer to the top of my library, I guess. Please, not another one of the reinforcements. It's a Healy. Kind of worse, to be perfectly honest. Oh boy, oh boy. I might just lose here, that's fine. And still lose, I think. Seriously? Oh, they kept a land on top, I think. I guess I'll fetch for an overgrown tune. Because life total kind of matters here now. <laughs> Not good. Definitely bad. Yeah, he definitely has the copycat in hand. 
He kept a land on top, most likely. So we might have just lost. <clears throat> no, holy shit. <laughs> hey, oh, hell yeah. No, even worse. Well, not worse. Like, one is losing the game on the spot. The other one is probably losing the game on the... Oh, hell yeah. Sure, fuck it. Okay, yikes. Uh, artifact cards. He probably doesn't have a way to actually ult this and win. Alright, do me good. Wow, I only hit a grave crawler. <sighs> Did not do me good. Damn, we're like halfway through our deck, too. That sucks. And we drew the Venge Vine. Watch, they're they're gonna deal with the Venge Vine. Oh no, 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 no. They're gonna path it? Yeah, they're definitely pathing that motherfucker. Booey. Man, that sucks, honestly. Oh, he just has it? Yeah, I'll give it to you. GG's. Alright, lost to copycat combo. Uh, I will say that, like, luck wasn't the best for this one. Um, but this is also part of the reason why, like, even against the decks, this deck, like, has a good chance again. against, it still has a tough time. Like, this meta is incredibly fucked up. Amulet Titan is by far the best deck. I, I can't stand Amulet Titan right now. Like, playing against it, like, physically hurts me with how fucking stupid it is and how Wazi didn't, like, do anything about it. Like, hasn't done anything about it yet because there's no major tournament. They're just like, Ooh, fuck modern, we're gonna ignore modern and focus on this pioneer, which also has busted decks. So, I don't know, man. Like, I, dude, I wish we could just ban 2019, honestly. Like, all these 2019 cards, they fucking suck. And I'll tell you, I'll just talk about the deck, I guess, for a bit. But So yeah, I like Crit Breaker a lot because you get to poop on all these like control decks oftentimes. It's a good top deck. Sometimes you can just randomly draw cards. And honestly, in this deck, drawing cards is amazing. Like, it's amazing. Um, like, Grimmag Angler's not that good anymore lately. Karen Feeder's okay, but not that good. So, like, Crypt is really nice. And then I like having the the fourth, like, the if I have to run, like, the fourth, like, zombie card, I just figured I might have it be a once upon a time. So it's been fine so far. Um, yeah, I'm on 20 lands. Triple Grave, Triple Tomb. I like having one uh, uh, Snow-Covered Island, one Snow-Covered Swamp, but there's only four polluted deltas, mm -hmm. right? Like, Island's really tough to fetch while also being able to fetch your swamps. So I was like, eh, fuck it, I'll just pick two of the same basic. And you're definitely not doing double basic island. So, swamps it was. Um, so, m this is me for the Titan matchup. Damping Sphere, Stained, Thought Seizes. And then pr oftentimes, like, some number of Astrophies, because you can, like, kill a Titan. Problem is, you kill a Titan, but they already got a field of the dead out. So it's like, you're giving them some zombies. It's this is pretty bad, like, I mean, the Titan is way too fucking good, like, it's, like, consistent turn three fuck yous, um, yeah, I'm just staying in the mind's pretty cool, if you pop off on them, you can also, like, just stay in the mind their ass, I threw in two ley lines, because I figured, why not, I could, probably could have done one, and then, like, kept in, like, a force of negation, or a thought seize. But I figured, like, with Breach, like, the Breach deck being a thing, I needed, like, some number of Ley Lines. So, like, Ley Lines, Thought Seizes, Stay in the Mind, Stamping Sphere, Force Negations, all these would come in against a Breach deck, right? Maybe even Astrophies. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. Nothing much beyond that. It's just classic. Yo, people that run, uh, the fucking one mana mill that I forgot the name of. Like, the one that's, like, Convoke with a creature. You're you're wrong. Don't play the one mana mill. Play only Glimpse, and then play some, like, other random cards. Like, 
it's four glimpse. The mill card is terrible because if you're like coming from behind at all, it's bad. And if you're ahead, then you're already ahead and you'd rather have a glimpse because it mills 10. So like needing that fifth and, and or sixth mill spell isn't worth like that trade off of like it being much poopier of a card. It's cooler to have these random fucking one ups. <clears throat> I considered Driven Despair as well. Uh, but that's like a 17th, because you have 4 Chill, 4 Amalgam, 4 Vengevine, 4 Narcomuse. So those are 16 cards. This is a 16 card, like, package of, like, cards you never want to draw and only want to mill. And then Gravecrawler is kind of like the honorary, like, 17th through 20th. So Driven Despair is, like, that, that extra one that you, you never want to draw it, because... The only time you want to draw it is when you're way ahead in the game. You have four mana open to double, like, uh, play it. Like, to play the front side and the flip side. Let me actually... Sh for those of you who don't even know what that card is. Driven Despair. Because I've seen some people, like, randomly fucking running it. So, like, look. Call this green. Until end of turn, creatures you control, gain trample, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Trample is poopy. You're, if you're topping this when you're already ahead, then you would have rather top deck like a mill spell because this card is not the best when you top deck it. It's only good when you mill it. So despair, until end of turn, creatures you control, gain menace, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Actually pretty good. Like, it's lit. Again, if it's in your graveyard, it's great. And that's also why, like, I, at some point I was running um, Haunted Debt, because when it was in your graveyard, it was a, it would be a 2-2 body and a 1-1 flyer that could jump, and it was a zombie, so it could bring back grave crawlers, and it was my 17th card I never wanted to draw. And I would draw, and I'd be like, holy fuck, I don't know why I fucking put this card in my deck. And there's enough instances of you drawing, like, those stupid one ofs that you only ever want to mill... I'm just like, fuck it. You gotta keep it clear, concise, clean. It's gotta... It's just gotta be like the fucking... Don't do any funky stuff with this deck. This deck can't really afford to do funky stuff. Because literally... Like, this is 16 out of 60 cards. Or 8 out of 30 of your draws. Or I guess 4 out of 15 of every draw. Like, there's a 4 out of 15 chance that every draw you have is trash. Like, trash. Like, you saw me draw multiple Venge Vines. They're trash to draw. So, like, why would you want another trash draw? Like, you just upped your odds. Like, every single game, your odds are, like, increased. So, instead of that, fuck with the one-mana creatures. Grimag Angler, Crypt Baker, Carrion Feeder, and I guess Once Upon a Time. So, I'm thinking of going up to two Crypt Breakers, maybe. I really like having, like, that the draws plus, like, the inevitability. And it's a, another must-kill one drop like Hedron Crab is. Adhesion Crab, Acid Eye, Crypt Baker, so it's like, must kill one drop number five. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the list. Um, in the meta right now, Crabbine is terrible, I wouldn't play it, but I felt like playing it today. <laughs> um, I didn't I didn't really know what other deck I would play anyways in this stupid showcase. Um, it is the showcase. Might as well try and showcase a Crabbine list that's like, good, you know? Crabbine that, like, and hopefully, I'll, eh, we'll see if I do well or not, like, I'll probably pl try and play it out for the rest of the day, but yeah, so that's the list. Uh, I like 20 lands. Um, once upon a time, it's been okay. I, f I played it before. It's a one of and it was fine. <clears throat> and it's fine top decking it, because you can actually cast it pretty easily. Um, but I'll tell you what, though. Always have three green sources that you can fetch. Always. Three overgrown tomb. Always, always, always. You always need to be able to cast that stupid Venge by. <clears throat> so yeah. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next round.